Okay, back to the test up. Never buy test up. Part six or seven or who knows by now. Anyway, uh, machine lathe uh, for my piece that I made. And if you're following along, the shaft tolerance is not that great. So what I did was, let me get the light here, Jesus. <sighs> I'm working outside because my shed is at 93 something degrees. I got honey in the settling tanks and I can't work in there. And this thing actually overheats. So machine this down to the diameter of the inside of that hollow tube on there. So now I have to cut this end back probably about so. This is already three quarters. It's actually a smooth fit in there with zero tolerance. So I'm gonna thread this end with a quarter 20. So when it goes up the shaft, I can drop a threaded shaft down the tube, grab that and pull the uh, turbine actually tighter on there. So this is gonna sit like this, quarter 20 onto that one. So that goes actually that far up into the shaft to stabilize it. This is gonna be quarter 20 in there and then welded on the edges and then of course sanded down. So that's gonna be that piece, but it's only gonna be this much to fit the gap right there. It's actually gonna be down here like this, just that small amount that's gonna be on there. And then I'll thread the interior of that and then thread that end. So over here is what I did. This is the bottom of the turbine. And I don't know if you can see in there, not if I can get their lighting just right for you. There is a hollow tube down there. You can see that is just over half. So I had to use the three quarter rod and then machine it down. So this goes in there nicely, meets that hole and it fits in there with no wobble whatsoever because I did it to the final dynamic diameter and then I used the, the emery cloth to bring it down the rest so it would fit as smoothly in there and that's it. There's no wobble or play there. This three quarters is extremely smooth, tight fit. So that goes right into there. There is absolutely no play in there, no wobble. Uh, it's tough to get in and out sometimes because it's just got enough roundness to it to get it and now I have to get something to pull that out of there. So uh, meanwhile, <clears throat> There we go. Like I said, only this much is going up in there, but this is going all up into the shaft, the actual wind turbine to steady it, you know, from a tilt. I still have to drill and tap these set screws in here. So I'm just going part by part getting this thing done, working at night here at the backyard. So I'll be back in my shed after I finish with the honey, turn the dehumidifiers off. That goes in there beautiful man if that was a tolerance that they gave from test up that would be acceptable like hardly nothing to zero you know like that's the way it should be and if you put set screws on there you would, wouldn't even feel it so that's where i'm at so now i've got to measure this mic this and get the difference between the shaft over there going up it almost makes it to the set screws down here right at the top so it's only about a half inch that i need here and then i'll cut it across then i'll start doing my taps then i'll show it to you after that so i'm going to fade out here and actually uh, it's getting late so i need to get some dinner so all right i'll be back with the next part